baby, baby, the Hoover girl doing a little shaky shake this morning. Last day, baby. Last day. About 150 miles to go. And we'll be back in Bradenton. 150 miles and then a, just a couple, a couple quarter miles. One, one of these and we'll be done. You know, Jordan, the last time we come through here, it was not a feet on the dash, hula girl, enjoying the day type of scenario. We were, uh, we were struggling. We, we were, were we were scavenging to find a scavenge pub. Yeah. Uh, you know, about a week ago, about a week ago, Monday, four or five days ago. So, much better trip through here this time. <laughs> yeah. This right here is uh, right where that Toyota's at. That's where we. Uh, we were on the road enjoying the scenery, and then the next minute we were in the scenery looking at the road. It was right there. Yeah. So, uh, full circle. Yeah. Not Brayden, here. Bradenton Motor Speedway, straight ahead. Oh, baby, there she is. Bradenton Motorsports Park, the Freedom Factory. Five days, 900 miles, one scavenge pump later. We have come full circle. We are back. We are here. Okay, baby, swap it over to race mode for the last time this week. This is uh, this is it. We got big goals, we got big dreams, and we got big passes to make. It's a lot of pressure. It's a very small margin between us and the next spot. I think currently we are sitting one hundredth away from third place. And after this week, after the struggles, after the just amount of pure effort we have put in, a top three in the tightest class of the entire event. Is going to be a phenomenal achievement to strive for and a, top, a uh, phenomenal achievement to uh, to reach if we can get there. But if not, we have that seven second goal that Jordan mentioned that we're going to take a look at too. So, nothing left to do but to keep digging. Okay, so 862, 863, 860 not enough, basically. So what are we doing here, pal? We uh, 
We've got we've got to push the envelope. There is no more play it safe, turn a time slip in because even this like a 53 doesn't help us. It doesn't move our average. We've got to go for broke. This one's for all the marbles. All the marbles. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna put the most power in the car that we've had all week because the air is hot, the air is thick. We've everyone has slowed down that we've kind of been keeping tabs on all week. So uh we're gonna go up a pound higher than we've been all week and see if we can get you know as close to that 50 margin as we can possibly get because anything else is not going to help us it is that tight people we, we, we we've got to make it okay baby here we go come on third place car left the door for us second place is in the lane beside us we've got to run this 50. just not fast enough dang it dang it dang it that ron is not going to improve us i don't know what the issue is with the car not going faster i don't know if he lifted 156 mile an hour is low mile an hour for the weekend the uh i don't know the other car was hauling the mail so uh he went at 841 way too fast so i just i don't know i'm confused on that one we're gonna have to find jordan and see what, what he says but uh dang it. well baby 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 that's uh neither one of them are good enough I don't even I don't even know where we're at in this uh I don't even know where we're at in this video anymore because it's just been all race mode, race mode, race mode. It's been trying to maximize opportunities on the racetrack. Some uh you know, we just gotta take advantage of every hit that we get and we have not been able to do that so far. We have narrowed a margin, but if we don't run an O, it's it's not worth it, it's not good enough. So we've gotta start, we've gotta get there. So, hey. We don't get there, it ain't for lack of effort, baby. We're doing it. All right, so what you're telling me is that you're, you guys are the current second place sitter. At no, 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 You guys. No, no, you're the current third place entering today, yep. right? Yep. Okay. You're sitting, you're sitting the point. And so, and if what we've ran today turned in, you're saying we move into second, you guys get third, third. the S2000 falls to fourth, yep. Red Fox stays first. Yep. Okay. Uh, but right. if we go with O, you have an opportunity to beat the Fox. If, if either one of us runs a 50 with an O, we'll barely nudge up the Fox by a couple thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's yeah, a, if he doesn't improve. We're, we're only uh, two thousandths of a, of a second from each other. Essentially, so. it's going to come down to the last pass. Yeah, whoever makes the best last pass is going to gonna carry home the bananas we're, we're, we're gonna have a heads up race basically yeah <laughs> we're, we're still duking it out even yeah red fox runs away. we're still duking it yeah. out yeah <laughs> yeah it's his it's the fox's race to lose yeah. if he's not able to get better and we we pull a rabbit out of the hat so they called all run it is a mad dash to the starting line right now oh buddy this is it pal uh this is we, the, the, the crucial part here was getting here soon because we have what we think we need to run in the car right now, but we have a little bit more we think we can do if we need to. So getting here early was maximum opportunity to get the fourth one if we can. So, yeah, we're going to go down and uh, it's not a double O, we're going to run back in. This is it. This is it. We're about three or four thousand separating second, third, and fourth. It's tight. critically low on fuel we knew we had three runs in it before it's going to be extremely close he's going to have to pull it back around we're going to have to double check as quickly as he can and there's also time we don't know if we have enough time for a fourth run but an 861 is not going to help us very much that is bad that may have gave room for the s2000 who just ran a 57 to 
to move ahead of us, so this is getting really tight. Okay, so the third place card, if the race had ended, the guy we were speaking with earlier, they were in third right there. They just ran at eight, seven something, so that is gonna be terrible for their average. That is not good for them. Um, they were having motor issues. They rolled main bearings in the thing at 3 a.m. last night to make the race. So it's just incredible that they're here. But that pass right there, clearly the car is hurt. Clearly the car is slowing down. That's uh, that's going to help our chances of securing the top three, even if the S2000 passes us. But we are going to, I am on my way back to Jordan. He should be pulling up at the back of the lanes now. We're going to check the fuel level to make sure that we have enough and then hope and pray that there is enough time for a fourth one so that way we can guarantee, we can lock up, we can improve our chances on these top threes. Um, the S2000 went a 57, so they may leapfrog us for second, but the James Rowlett in the Mustang, the main bearing car, he ran an 870 something, so he may fall down some substantial amount. If we get another run, we just need to make sure that it's it's better. It's close to our average at a 53. Yeah. Guys, the averages, the numbers, the math has never been bigger. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow, I don't know. I'm talking about numbers and speaking of it, 653 at 217. I don't know who it was or what it was. That was the C4. That was the guy's only Oh, Eric Yost? They're Swedes, right? The Swedes. Yeah, so those guys are from Sweden in a Z4, 653 at 217. Wow. If, I don't think that there's any possibility for someone to catch them. They are the fastest street driven car in the race. That is it. That's it. No one can talk, but they were in first coming into the race and just got better. Wow, that is that is freaking incredible there. Totally lost my train of thought on what we were doing. But, yeah. Anyway, roll on to the next clip. Okay, they got us fired up. There is still no guarantee that we're going to get a pass, but they are moving us to the lanes. This is, uh, this is getting real, folks. Well, guys, we were that close. We were that close. And they called it. So, um... We're just gonna have to go home with a top three finish at 275 Street Race, baby. Uh, so I'm pretty sure by our math, we are sitting three. I think with the lanes being cut off at the hard 9 p.m. puts us top three. Unless several people are drastically very terrible at math. <laughs> I think we may have just ran top three in probably the tightest index based class of the event. Of arguably the fastest drag and drive event to have ever happened. Pretty cool. Fucking buddy. I, I don't even know if I can say that, but I'm pretty sure we just got third. <laughs> What's the so 616 is our best slip, right? We're not turning in the wrong one. No. And that's my that's my Instagram handle. That's been my number. Dude, dude you're bikes. right. It is. That's, uh, is that like your motocross number? That was my motocross. Oh, dude, no way. Yeah, that's pretty tight. For a six one six, it's a terrible number, but it's, <laughs> it's good enough, baby. It's good enough for third place. So it's let's go turn that in. Yeah. Okay, baby. She doesn't have the official scoring, but unless uh unless me, Billy, the other guys we were talking to, and a couple other batter math, I think we got third. Yep, should be a third. Let's go find out. Let's go to the Freedom, the, the Circus Factory and find out. Circus Factory. The cheering section is done. All right. Jordan Boudreau. Jordan Boudreau with the 2002 Mustang 855 at 158 mile an hour average is your number three finisher. Nice. Jordan Boudreau, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. Buddy, buddy. There it hey, is. That's it, man. This is what we uh, worked all week for. Maybe not first place, but at least we're coming home with the dude, place. Listen, top three in the tightest class with the most cars in it on our first drag and drive with a car that was, you know, relatively unstreet tested until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we pulled up and we had no idea what was going to happen. But yeah. We, uh, we persevered. We made it happen. We made it to the end. Yeah, I mean we don't bracket race. We Let's don't see. We had uh, what's, 100, yeah. 
955.1 miles. 955 and a tenth miles. That's that's what we put on the car this week. We ran it hard. We ran it good. We didn't cut it any slack. Uh, whether it be 75 mile an hour down I-75, whether it be five hot laps in a row, whether it be she, running she, it low on oil. I mean, she kept on ticking. So, uh, like I just told Tom Bailey, the one who puts this race on, this is the most fun I've ever had in my race car, and I can't wait to do it. Yeah. So, listen, I've been telling Jordan this entire leading up to this event that the race week was the funnest thing I've ever done in my truck. Blah blah blah. You just can't understand. You just got to do it. And I think I've officially ruined you on racing. Yeah, the, the, everything else sucks now. Yeah, this, yeah. This is where it's at. This so is if, it. You're, if you're not in a drag and drive event, you're not having fun. Yeah, like you do not have a street car unless you do this because I don't care how often you drive it. It's this not, is I, I drove this shit out of my car before this, and uh, this that was nothing. Compared this is to hard, it. guys, but it's it's fun. It is the it's good kind of hard, but. With that being said, we've had enough nickel bobs and it is time for bed. So, uh, yep, let's get to our hotel and uh, get ready for next year. Yep. So, as always, I'm Digging Z71. Thanks for watching. Keep digging. We'll see you next time.